Welcome back guys to Spinal Crossover, Mark and Mark here. And here we at all about the Raptors. Let's analyze about the first and second game that we watched recently. What are your thoughts so far about watching game one and game two for the Raptors? Game one, that's how we should be playing mm -hmm. and just keep it consistently and everything. Mm -hmm. Everyone had a great game, mm -hmm. you know, but game two, we can go into detail later, but I'm yeah. just like, that was yeah, just... Yeah, there was just a heartbreaking little... to watch. Mm -hmm. like, what are your thoughts when you watch game, uh, game two, when you watch that, um, I mean, the shots, <laughs> that started, scramble? That it happened. started off really good. Like, yeah. like Siakam did the, the spin move and stuff yeah. and then got the crowd into it. But then like they started, make, they started missing every shot. Yeah. Like, it's, like open looks. And I was yeah. like, that's crazy. Yeah. That's not how game one was. Yeah. No. Did, like, what did you like about game one? Like, what was the thing that you liked the most about it? Is it the defense? Is it the way they shared the ball, like the move, the rock? Like, what, what was the thing that stood out to you when watching game one against the Sixers? I'm more of the, like, I enjoy watching more of, like, offense plays. Mm -hmm. But this was by far, like, for game one was by far my favorite game to watch mm -hmm. defense. Like, really, really hard defense. They clamped down on them. They really yeah. did, you know. Yeah. Um, the way that they moved and the way that they were able to close out Embiid, the way that they were able to like, you know, shut down Ben Simmons, the way that we were able to like even close off Butler and not shoot his range and everything. That mm -hmm. was fantastic. They got mm -hmm. the momentum going. So like from like really strong defense was really to like alter like to really like, like I can't even like, it was amazing. Like um, it turned into really amazing offense too, you know, exactly. so. Yeah. Like what was the difference in game two? Is it just because the Sixers just played much better or is it just the Raptors just didn't hit shots? Like what was, yeah, what did you see? They weren't hitting the shots, and uh, I, th I thought it would be easier because I heard Embiid was sick, and yeah. he was sick during game two. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is pretty much easy. And yeah. um, I actually wanted to go, because my friend has actually he had tickets. Oh, yeah, he told me, but I <laughs> yeah. wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, Good he, thing you didn't go. <laughs> yeah, no, because he asked me to go game one on Saturday, but yeah. I had a show in uh, Bradford. So I was like, no, I can't, I can't make it. But then Monday, I didn't have any shows, so I was yeah. like, oh, I want to go that game. But luckily, I didn't, because... Oh, yeah. Would have been that, would so that would have been really disappointing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did you feel when um, Lowry was kind of taking that ISO game against Tobias Harris and kind of lost the basketball? Like, did you guys kind of just like stop like your the heart? Last play? And, yeah. Oh my god. Can't be playing that kind of ball. Yeah. You can't be playing that it's kind tough. of game there. Yeah. Especially Tobias Harris can be able to guard you off from the ISO. Exactly. Like he's good, like defensively and everything too. Yeah. I just felt like we couldn't be able to finish the shots. Yeah. Danny Green couldn't, you know. Open the corner threes, those are his shots. He couldn't even bank those shots. Mm -hmm. Like even Pascal Siakam within his range into the, or drive into the paint, completely missing everything. Mm -hmm. I felt like we've just missed a lot of opportunities, like mm -hmm. a lot of open opportunities. Mm -hmm. We just couldn't finish that off, which is really disappointing. Yeah. I mean, to be down 20 points, like what did you guys, I mean, to be down like that much and come back, like, do you guys feel like, oh, like they should not been down to begin with that much? Or like to, to come back from it and get it really close what are your thoughts with, with the Raptors? Like, are they just kind of cruised it or they, they just couldn't hit shots? What about the fact that, I mean, Kawhi kind of carried us through? Like, do you feel like this is how we should go about facing the Sixers? Just literally let Kawhi handle and just like, carry us? No, but they can do it because I've seen them come back from, you know, the regular season. So mm -hmm. this is normal mm -hmm. for them. But, um, but yeah, just the open looks. Like, like Philadelphia, I don't think they played better than us. No, mm -hmm. I think we just played... Not as good. Yeah. I just felt like we were more at fault mm -hmm. with the yeah. game mm -hmm. rather than for them because I felt like it was the same kind of defense, the same type of like the way that they pressured us. It was the same thing. Mm -hmm. Slight adjustments and everything too. I mean, come on, like Brett Brown has probably the worst yeah. decisions Kings. when like he, he, who did he put in? Yeah. And it's sure. Ennis. He put in Moose at oh, one yeah, point. Like, who did, who, would you guys expect that to, like... <laughs> I did not. Who didn't expect but that? But Moose was hitting the shots. Yeah. <laughs> Moose was hitting the shots. And they gave him the foul, too. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah. when he they brought him to the line, I'm just yeah. like, are you really serious? You're going to let this man... You're going to give the man the shots. Yeah. Really? And speaking of that, I mean, the bench of the Sixers showed up. Like, James Ennis, like you mentioned, yeah. Greg Monroe. What about the Raptors? Like, they... Remember, we were talked about as one of the deepest team with a really good starting bench when we had the lawn right, we had Norman yeah, Powell yeah. in, we had Van Fleet coming off the bench and showing your own fan and tunes. What, what can we say about the Raptors bench? Because they didn't show up that game. Like, is this going to be something that we should be worried about? And I even talked this from, yeah. like, from last episode too. We had yeah. more depth. Yeah. We could be able to rely on them. Yeah. Van Fleet didn't even show up. Yeah. Like, he came in with nothing. At, what, 0%? Mm -hmm. Plus minus was completely nothing. Like, and, he was, and he came into the game too. So yeah. like... That was by far really disappointing, very mm -hmm. disappointing on my end. So yeah, yeah. That's, how, that's how I felt. Yeah. Like one of those moms, it's just like... It's just gonna... <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> when is an, an, Anobi coming back? 
he, I don't think he's gonna be. Um, I think he's gonna be missing the whole series, and possibly the whole postseason. Oh, really? And do you think this is something that's always about to mention that? Like, do you think this is something that's um, that's going to affect him because he could be a player that could guard a guy like Jimmy Butler, who really showed up that night and yeah. hit yeah. clutch buckets. I mean, that pull up three that he did and a couple of shots that he was just giving like the Raptors every answer to everything that we did. Yeah. Yeah. So how much do you think we're going to miss a guy like Andy Novi? Because now you can have Danny Green, you can have Kawhi, you can have him guarding all of their wing players, literally like Ben Simmons, Jimmy and Tobias. Hmm. I, I feel like he would. Play, it does play a factor now that he's not, like he's sitting out for the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when it comes to like coming in off the bench and everything. Because mm-hmm. like if you just see him during the regular season, you know, he did put in some percentage or like he put in some input within winning the team, right? Mm-hmm. Within making those wins for the team. But our bench is still good. Like, we still have Serge Ibaka. He, was, he, was, he made a couple of mistakes in mm-hmm. game two, but yeah. Yeah. I think if he, if, he, if he performs well and then Norm, playoff Norm, mm-hmm. comes back. He's like, come back for sure. Let's hope, yeah. Yeah. Let's hope, hope playoff Norm comes back. No more go daddy curse. Like, it's just, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, it, I, I, they're, they're there. Like, they're talent. Like, they, they are we there. Have, I think we have more the deeper talent. Uh, it's just that game two was different. Like, what do you think is going to happen for game three? What are your predictions with game three? Like, I feel like that was a, more of a wake up call for them. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be like, you know, we, they got to bring back the intensity. Like what you said, they're cruising a little bit. I feel like mm-hmm. there's a little bit of too much, like maybe too much comfortability with them. Like, and then next, you know, it took a toll. It, mm-hmm. they, they did, they were like down by 20 points. They managed to like come back, mm-hmm. but it still came up short, right? So mm-hmm. I just feel like they're going to pick up the intensity more. Um, I don't want Kawhi to carry it. Mm-hmm. I want Lowry to kind of take that lead because he has been in the team for so long, right? Yeah. He's supposed to carry this team. Like, we're supposed to rely on him. We even talked about him being the X factor, right? So, mm-hmm. like, I want him to show more, right? We can always rely on Kawhi and everything because he, he always brings his game, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, it's just more of them to, like, move as a unit now. Yeah. Like, even more. Like, even better. Like, bring back first game. And bring it and bring it to the rest, you know. Yeah, yeah. well, we we've seen like Pascal Siakam. He mm-hmm. he stepped up game one, so I think game two. I think Philadelphia adjusted too, because mm-hmm. they're like, oh, this guy is a hot scorer too. So, but I think yeah, see, I think game three they're gonna adjust and yeah, hopefully they spread the ball up more and like Danny Green hits the shots. Yeah, you know, and Gasol hits the shots and uh, yeah, no, I think I think they'll be fine. Yeah, I, I think so. I think they played. They just couldn't make shots. Like. Like yeah, they were having sure. the shots that they wanted in the game, and and that was what um, they were supposed to be getting yeah. in the game. And it's just they couldn't hit a game too. So let's hope. I mean, Gasol, Van Fleet, Danny Green could make those shots. Norman Powell, and I think they will be fine because Kawhi played his game and Lowry played his game. They did. They so. did fairly well. They did excellent. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jody Meeks. He oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He just came, Meeks. Out, of <laughs> came out of nowhere. Just came out of nowhere. shots. Well, that's all we have, guys, for tonight's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any last word before we end the show, Ernie? The video is right there, your camera. Any Anything you want to say to the fans, to the audience, to your mom, whatever you want to Oh, hey, mom, <laughs> mom and dad, hopefully you guys are watching. Uh, please uh, support my dreams. And uh, <laughs> oh, check out my, my YouTube channel at uh, Earnspire. Yeah, where can they find you on Instagram as well? Oh, at, at Ernie Vicente. Awesome. Any last words, Ingrid, before we get our audience right there? Hey, guys, be sure to uh, follow us on Filipinos and Basketball. Tune in every Sunday for the videos, and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Out of that, guys, stay balling.